Hello everyone, and welcome back to Skyrim. We are here at my property. Uh, whoops. And uh, we've been busy. We built a found the foundation. Um, it's a, it's a, it's been a few days since uh, last time. We've been camping here while we built the house. And yeah, so we got this foundation going. We still have to build the rest. So that's what we're going to do today. So shall we get to it? In you go. So what I have to do is check and see what the next plan needs. Oh, look, we need more nails. How wonderful. Wait a minute. I thought I grabbed enough um, nails. Yes, I sure did. See, I, 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 I brought a bunch of nails when we were in Riverwood. I actually brought a lot of nails. <laughs> okay. We have the logs. We have the nails. Let's put up these beams. Yes! Cool. So there we go. This is, looks like it's gonna be a nice sturdy house. Of course, why would I build it any different, right? It's gotta be sturdy. This is very small. This is like a one-room house. We definitely need to add on to it. Um, there's plenty of room to build a lot more house here. So that's great. All right, let's see what we need to build the walls now. We need clay, four clay. Well, I happen to know that there is a bunch of clay in here. So, I wish these were linked to the chest and the thing. Yeah, something. Anyway, okay, let's put up the walls. Because it's just a little bit too, this is, this isn't too hard, is it? <laughs> <laughs> wow! Look at that! Inigo, it's coming together swiftly and nice. It is. We definitely need a floor, though. We need a floor. So let's make a floor. Let's see what a floor requires. Four quarried stone. And a roof. We have the logs for the roof. But I know there's stone in this box so yeah four we're building a house in a day aha I laid each one of these by hand not only did I lay them by hand but I also chiseled them into squares by hand isn't that awesome I'm such a great builder all right, we need a roof. Definitely need a roof before it rains. Okay, roof framing. I think it's just the framing, yes. Look at this thing go up. You are so productive, Inigo. We are so productive. Wow. All right, we need to put some shingles on this roof. And I have enough nails and wood to do that with. All right. Oh, wow. <laughs> cool. Okay. So now we just need a door and my house will be complete. Well, except for furnishings, of course. Which I'm not sure what I'm going to do with those. Like, am I going to buy furnishings or build them? Hmm. Let's see what a door needs. Iron fittings, a lock, and two hinges. Now, I know I have iron fittings and a hinge, but I wasn't able to get a lock because I didn't have enough corundum. So we need to go into town and ask the blacksmith to build us a lock. Alright, let's do that. 
Now, someone may ask, and I know somebody will, why don't you just make a lock yourself? Well, I am not a smith. I am not a smith. Especially not any kind of, like, smith that could make a locking mechanism. That's pretty, uh, um, yeah, elaborate and intricate. And um, I might be able to smith a, mm, a really rudimentary dagger that would look probably more like a letter opener, to be honest. Oh. And so, yeah. That's why I'm going to go into town and have it done. But that's okay. While I'm in town, I should also buy some more supplies for the house and stuff like that. Like, I don't know. I don't know what we might need. Um, but we'll find out. What's going on? What's going on? Fight. A fight? Where? I don't see a fight. What? Where's the fight? What happened? Where? Where's the dead traveler? Why are they hurting each other? Who? Where? What's going on? Where's Miko? Do you know what's going on, guard? Kill him. Kill who? Somebody out here? Miko? I have no enemies in my compass anywhere. I don't know what's going on. Huh. Strange. Well, hopefully that doesn't prevent me from doing business here. Yeah. Can you tell me what's going on, Eagle? Please? Help! <laughs> Is there an invisible dragon flying around here? Okay, I'm, I'm weirded out now. Let's go inside. Let's see if we can talk to the shopkeeper. Hi. Thank you so much. I just want to see what Some you can say. Some may call this junk. Sir. Me, yeah. I call them treasures. Okay, I bought some glass and some straw and stuff just in case we need it for the house. I might want to put in some windows. Hmm, whatever the problem was, it seems to have gone. That's nice. Where's Inigo now? He didn't go into the store with me, and he's nowhere in sight. In you go! There you are. Were you going to check out? You know what? Nico, here, boy. We should get some lunch. We definitely should. Let's do that. Okay. Alright. We got everything that we came here to get. I'm pretty sure I got a lock. I got other things like... Who is that guy? Oh. He is a produce seller guy, I guess. Weird that there's just a dead woman laying there and nobody cares. Alright. Yeah, we got. A, I got a lock from the blacksmith. He happened to have one on hand. And... Is this the thing everybody was so upset about? And Inigo must have killed it. Good for you, Inigo. Keeping the roads safe for travelers. Seems to be our main occupation these days. What's up there? 
I should get to know the area around my property. Because I've never gone places around in this area before. What is up here? Oh, it's a shrine of Talos. Uh-oh. Easy. Uh, no. A worshiper. Worshippers. Worshippers of Talos. Killed at a shrine while they were worshipping. N oh no. Thou more orders. Agent Sanyan. In response to a report dated 22nd Morning Star 401, your request, your request for an expeditionary force is hereby denied. Sanyan, this is the seventh report you have filed this month, and not one of your leads, not one, has turned up so much as a shred of evidence that a Talos shrine exists in the Lake Ilanalta region. No prisoners, no documents, nothing. Our forces are stretched thin enough as it is, and I have better missions, better agents, to assign them to. If you feel so sure of your informant, investigate this yourself. Come back with proof or not at all. By my hand and seal, Ellen Wynn. Oh. I'm taking your clothes because you don't deserve them. He just uses iron weapons. That's weird. Inigo? These people were killed by the Thalmor just because they were worshipping Talos. In their own land. That is unacceptable. That is completely unacceptable. I am mad. Four people killed just because they were worshipping Talos. Why do the Thalmor even care if Nords worship their own god in their own country? Why do they even care? What is it to them? Just because they don't think Talos, Talos is a god doesn't matter what they think. Let the people decide. Oh my goodness, I'm mad. Okay. This isn't even, you know, technically my land. I mean, or technically it is. I was born here, but I didn't grow up here, and I haven't lived here my whole life. But I have been living here oh, for a while now, and I've started to grow fond of Skyrim. I never thought I would hear myself say that. But it has grown on me, and now... I feel threatened in my own land. My parents were Talos worshippers. I've never been very religious myself, but my parents were Talos worshippers, and I respected them. And, you know, Talos, just in general. I, I never worshipped Talos, but I respect Talos, I guess you could say. I am deeply troubled, Inigo. I don't know if you can understand, but I am. Okay. Let's try to get- I'm gonna try to get my head back in into the job now. We have a door to build, and I'm going to build it. So. Oops, there goes my book again. Um, alright. I need the iron fittings and whatnot. Where did that book go? Wow. It is gone. Gone, gone, gone. Do you- did you see where the book went? What? It disappeared off the face of the planet, didn't it? Okay. Well, that's that. <laughs> Hopefully I don't need it. I need the hinges, and I need iron fittings. Hopefully I have enough iron fittings, actually. I don't remember how much it said to- Oh, good. Good. Alright. Ooh, I could build an animal pen. For chickens? I can build an apiary 
so I can get honey, I guess. An armor workbench, cool. A garden! Yeah, that might be something. Ooh, smelter. A stable! We need to build a stable for the horses, Inigo. We sure should. Okay. Look it. I'm going to go in. Oh. Okay, so now we can build. Here we go. Oh, okay. Now we can build furniture. I'm, 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 yeah. So we can build barrels, dressers, and tables. We can build a double bed and a little table and chair. Inigo, we're not sleeping in the same bed. I don't care what. Corner shelf, shelf with display case. It has a display case. Wall shelves. We can build stuff outside. Wall sconces. We need goat horns for that. A fire pit. Definitely going to need a fire pit, right? Hanging rack for hanging things on. So I need... Alright, what do I need for furniture? I have enough nails and law. I don't... I need leather. Well, I have plenty of leather. Or I can make leather strips easily enough. Let's build a table and chairs. And then I'll go out and get some leather made on the... Oh wow. Not only did I build a table and chairs, I built a rug. And I pulled some dishes and food out of somewhere. Why is one of the chairs over here? That doesn't make any sense. It should be at the table with the other chair. So we can sit down and eat together, right? Hmm... I already had lunch. Let's go out and get some strips of leather. <sighs> yes, I still am very angry about the Thalmor thing. <clears throat> okay. Got some leather strips made up. Let's go make a bed. I um, wonder where I should put it. Probably over here? I don't know. I guess we'll find out. <laughs> Hopefully not in a stupid place. Yeah, that's not the bed in the picture. The bed in the picture had a green blanket on it. I'm disappointed. I really am. And it's also in the wrong place. Who wants their bed in the middle of the room? I wanted it over here. Fine. Okay. We need a fire pit. Yeah, that's hmm. not very nice, is it? Not very nice at all. It should be up against the wall to, uh, you know, utilize all the space in the room. Like... I don't know, I suppose I could stack firewood back here. That's a lot of meat. Wow. Okay, I think I'm going to keep it basic for now. Because I would like to add on to this house. And I don't really want to fill it up with all kinds of stuff before we, you know, can add on to it. Like, we can knock out this wall here and make, a, make bigger. Make it bigger. Definitely need to do that. And then... I guess I'll move my furniture into the bigger... I don't know what I would make this. Like an entryway or something, maybe. What do you think? I think that's a good idea. Let's go out and see what else there is. Oh, a stable. That's what I wanted to make. Ooh, it's getting cold. Snow? There's no snow? What? Where would we put a stable? I don't really want it in the back because that's where. Ooh, gimme, gimme, gimme. Because that's where I want to extend the house to, so. Do you mind? Thank you. Ooh. Need those. I'm still not up to numbers with my potions. <laughs> All right, well, maybe we could put it up here. This is kind of a small space, but if we take this rock out, 
Might be big enough for a couple horses to stand in it. Okay, I think I have what it takes to build um, a stable. Yes, I do. All right, let's do it. Aha! I told ya! I told ya! And there's food for them as well. Let's put them in! Deacon, I made a house for you! And for you, Roach, as well, of course. Excuse me. Okay. Let's just get you up here, and hopefully I can actually dismount... I'm in here. <laughs> what do you think, Deacon? Hmm? Can you let me out? This air is pure and clean. I'm stuck. There we go. Okay. Inigo, um, we want Roach to go in there as well. So, come on, Roach. Get in. Alright, good. No, go into the... Go into the actual place. Miko, move. You're messing me up here. I'm trying to get Roach. I'm trying to push him in there. All the way. There you go. Good boy. Girl. <clears throat> it's actually a girl, but whatever. <clears throat> okay. Brand new stable for horses. And they fit, too. I wonder what happened to Frost. He's always right on our heels, and I haven't seen him in days. There's not really a whole lot of room left in here, though. Plus, we also have uh, what, his, uh, Eric's other horse. We should probably go get it sometime. Yeah. Well, we always have the stable at the mine where we can keep Frost and the other horse, too. So that's all right, I think. All right, let's see what else we can... We should build... Animal pen. We could get chickens. Hmm. That might be nice. Fun. Just fun to do things. Definitely need a garden. Hmm. Okay. Let's get a let's make a garden and an animal pen. Ah. Good. Oh, I need to move my fireplace. <laughs> but that's fine. I uh, don't need it anymore because I have. Uh, the one in the house. I don't need the one out here anymore. Okay, cool. So we can plant plants there. Um, I need to get some. I can plant... Should I plant vegetables in here? Or should I plant flowers? Huh. That's a question worth asking. Huh. How about we do plant vegetables. I'm gonna plant wheat. Okay. That was creepy. I'm gonna plant wheat here and wheat here. Um, should I plant wheat anywhere else? I think I'll plant wheat all along the back. It does tend to get kind of tall, so I'm going to plant it in the back so that it doesn't cover up all of the other vegetables. Um, then I can make more potions with it. See, that, that's the idea. Put one back here. And I wish I had one more that I could put in the corner there. I can always save the corner for another time. So let's see. I should probably plant carrots in the front since they're really short. Um, whoops. Carrots. Plant one there. And... I'll plant a carrot here as well. Okay. All right. There. What happened? Did I? What did I plant there? I thought I planted a carrot, but it confused me for a second. <laughs> so should I plant potatoes? I don't think I have very many. I only have one. I'll plant one here. There. I do need more potato plants. It doesn't look like anything's planted here. No, I didn't plant it. 
I planted something else there because I only had two carrots. Did I actually plant? What? What's going on? It's not actually planting the carrot. I had to plant it. Okay. There it goes. It worked this time. That was weird. Okay. Um, I still have two, three spots empty. I think I'll... I need to go get some more potatoes somewhere and stuff. So we'll... Uh... Oh, and we also have... A place for animals. Now, I thought it was going to make me a chicken coop because it uh, showed a picture of a chicken coop. But I guess not. Cows, I guess? Maybe we could get a cow. Hmm. Okay. Well, <laughs> let's take a look at the plans and see what else there is to build. Like, because I want to. Um... Ooh, yes. Here we go. I can make a main hall. Right. Two stories. That's more like it. Let's make this. Definitely. Okay, let's see what we need for that. Probably a lot more. Um, main hall door. I still need another- I need another lock! Of course I do! And I need two hinges as well. Okay, well, first we have to build a door. Well, the blacksmith in Riverwood didn't have any more hinges. I took his only one. I mean, uh, locks. I took his only one. So we're going to have to go somewhere else to get a hinge. And I guess, I mean, a lock. Gee whiz. Let's take the... Um, let's take the tent down. We don't need it anymore. And what? Well, let's go to Falkreath. Falkreath um, might have locks for sale. Excuse me, Inigo. Inigo, move. I mean, not Inigo. Miko, move. Miko! This is not good. There we go. Okay. Hey, look, there's actually kind of a road here. That goes... not really. Kind of. It's a cleared area, anyways. Huh. I thought I heard something menacing, but maybe not? Okay, well anyways, let's go. We meet... I hope bandits don't come back here because this is annoying having bandits here and also having all of these I can't dismount right here for some reason it's weird oh be careful I told you not to touch these I can't dismount what's going on Okay, it wasn't letting me dismount next to those boulders. That's funny. Okay. I just wanted to get the hide. And, it, and the venison as well. Here you go. Uh, damn it. Look at you! You're not listening to me. You gotta be careful, okay? These are dangerous. Dangerous, dangerous things that we should probably move off the road if we can. You know what? I think I'm going to. I'm going to move them off the road and you're going to stay right here and not get in my way or you might die. Just warning you. You know, fair warning. Um. Okay, let's see how this works. Might not work at all, but we'll see. Wow. That was stupid. What is the point of having this shout if I can't even do anything with it? <laughs> if I can't even use it for useful chores. Nico. I do want to try it again. Maybe if I shoot downhill, it will work better. Or, I wonder if I could use this kettle move them. Oh, 
I can. Great. Behold the awesome power of the mighty kettle. All powerful indeed. The kettle is more powerful than the thum. Nobody will believe me back at uh, the Greybeard's place. Um, I'll be like, hey, Arngear, I tried to move some rocks. You are amusing yourself, yes? I am, <laughs> actually. It's quite fun. You should try it. There's another kettle up there. You want to try? Yeah, I'll be like, Arngear, I tried unrelenting force on a pile of boulders. Nothing happened. But then I grabbed a kettle and stood pushing them around as if they were cotton balls. Take that. Greybeard, look out. This is this is for the good of all travelers, Inigo. Because you know what? <gasps> Sorry. Oh. That hurt. <laughs> because you know what? Travelers will come through here and kill themselves on these all the time. Today so has been pretty interesting so far. Tomorrow has a lot to live up to. Well, tomorrow hopefully we won't find any more murdered worshippers of Talos. Yeah. Okay, I think just moving them off to the side is good enough. Now we need to get rid of this really big one. I just need to not let it fall on my horses. Alright, I think that's good enough. There! The way is clear, and hopefully more bandits don't come by and make a mess of things again. Right? Alright, let's get to town. It's starting to get dark. And get the lock that we need before the blacksmith closes. Okay, so the blacksmith is closed already. Well, bother. A whole trip for nothing. For nothing! <laughs> um, what should we do while we're. Well, yeah, he's not gonna open until tomorrow. So. Ooh, potatoes. Ooh, squash! That's something I didn't think of. We should plant squash. Indigo. Maybe I can just, uh. Take a couple. Squash would be good. So I'll plant a potato in that one back corner one, and then I'll plant squash in the two front ones that... Oh, cabbage! I completely forgot about cabbage. Well, you know what? I think what we'll do... What I'll do... Well, I don't know what I'll do. I'll save those cabbages for later. Or maybe I'll replace something with another thing after it grows and I harvest it. Yeah, that's what I'll do. Okay, well, so we didn't we didn't actually... I spent too much time rolling boulders down the road. And we didn't get here in time. We'll come back in the morning and you go, let's go home and plant these vegetables and then... Well... Uh, let's see... You know what? I just had a thought. Who is going to watch over my house while I'm off adventuring? I mean, Eric is helping to run the mine. So I don't want Eric to come here and just live at my house to keep it, oh, watch over it. But I was just thinking maybe Lydia could. I think it's dinner time. My stomach is telling me. Maybe Lydia could come. And live here. I mean, she is my house Carl, after all. She should be here taking care of my house, right? Isn't that right? I do believe it is. So, what do you think, Inigo? I think, I think I'm correct. Thank you. Okay, that's what we'll do. Your horse doesn't go there, uh, Inigo. He goes in the in the thing. Okay. Let's plant the vegetables. So on this end, I'm going to plant potato. There we go. And in 
these two. Should I plant gourds or cabbages? Hmm. I think for now I'll plant gourds. Just because. They're cool. They're they're pretty. There. My garden has been planted, and now we just have to wait for it to grow. And then we'll uh, grow the house as well. The house is going to be big. As soon as I can knock out that wall, we'll get a bigger house going. All right. Well, now it's time to spend the first night in the new house. Yes, indeed. And then, uh... Or actually, first we need to eat dinner. And since I don't have any other dinner on me, I'm going to eat these. <laughs> actually, I'm going to sit down in my chair that I built. The chair that I built... With my own hands. Whoops. I accidentally uh, got out of my chair that I built with my own hands. Okay. So, Inigo, are you going to get something to eat too? What did I just eat? I hope I ate something that wasn't raw. <laughs> I totally forgot to check. You gonna eat too? A king relaxing in his castle. You know it. <laughs> well, it will be a castle eventually. So, <clears throat> I am all good now. I'm going to take a take a sleep. <laughs> I'm going to go to sleep. You can sleep somewhere else, not in my bed, please. <clears throat> uh, I'm hungry. I don't have any food left. I suppose I can cook that venison. Ooh, and a ca- oh look, a cabbage. This is all the food the king in his castle has? Oh my gosh, I need to go buy food, Inigo. I have hardly anything. I have venison. That's what I can make. I can make venison. And I can only make one. How in the world does it take Oh no, I don't have salt. Can I make salt? I need water and salt water. Water and salt water? What do I need water and salt water for to make salt? You'd think I would only need salt water. That's weird. Well, I'm not going to go all the way to the ocean and collect any right now. Let's go into town. We'll buy salt while we're there. Oh, but first I need to eat that venison that I just cooked. <laughs> and we also need to get some water. I'm getting low on everything. You know what we need to do, Inigo? We need to build a well. We sure do. We need to build a well very much. Okay, I thought they were on this side of the fence. Silly me. How are you doing, my furry friend? Give me the butterfly. No. Okay. Give me. Give me. They are so hard to catch. <laughs> All right. Let's go back into town. I'm glad it's not very far away. Because if it was... Well, this is the reason why I actually picked this property. Because it uh, is closer to town. It's closer to both towns. Then... Like the mine, for instance. The mine is too far from everything. I already said that before. Okie dokie. I got I'm locks. Good. I actually bought more than one, just in case I want to put a back door or a lock on my bedroom door. That would be great. And I also got some more nails and hinges because, you know, we need doors on the inside too, not just on the outside. And I got more iron fittings because we probably need them. So hopefully, we don't have to take another trip into town anytime soon. Except, you know what? I did not get was salt! Inigo, I need to make a list. Let me know if you need anything. Or take a seat by the fire and I'll send someone over. Do you have salt? Don't go to sleep. Lady, 
It's the middle of the day. What are you doing? Get up. Welcome to Dead Man's Bank. <laughs> what? Provisions. I need provisions. Let's sate that appetite. Hmm? Yes. Please, actually. You only have one? <sighs> okay. Well, then I'll buy some stuff from you. Let's see. I'm going to buy ingredients. Ooh, a meat pie. I can't turn that down for sure. Hmm. You mostly sell soup. What's up with that? I guess it's easiest to make. Fine, I'll take some soups. That's That looks... Beef stew. Uh, cl sure, clam chowder. Why not? Hmm. Tomato soup is good. I'll take that and a sweet roll for fun. Thank you. you know any juicy gossip in town? Be sure to share it with me. Oh wait! I escaped fighting in Cyrodiil, only to have it track me down again in Skyrim. No, it's too bad for you. Can you fill my water back up? Of course. Thank you. Bye. I'll be right here if you need anything else. Oh, I probably will need more in a day or two. Need something. Just stock up some more salt and I'll buy it all from you. Look, she's taking a nap again. What is the matter with her? She's got all these customers. Bad innkeepers. Bad innkeepers. All right. Okay. All right, back home. I can actually say that. Back home. Is this a road? Kind of looks like a road. Well, what is that up there? Well, like I said, I need to get familiar with the surroundings around my property. And this is something near my property. It looks like an ancient ruin. This is a road. Does this go to my house? Does this go up to my house? This might be a shortcut. It's in the same general vicinity. Well, look at that. Hmm. Inigo, we might take this road more often. I think it might be faster. I can level up. When did I level? I don't remember doing that. Alright, first let's check out this place. There's just an elk hanging out up here. South Shriekwind Basin discovered. Alright. Ah, God! Okay. Oh yeah. You will not learn from these. No, he's a drogger. He would never learn from anything. He's dead already. Okay, so there's Draugr here. Definitely should take care of them because, you know, they're near my house. And I don't want Draugr near my house. There's one up there. Yeah, come down here. Did you get? Oh, you got a skeleton. Okay, cool. You gonna pop open? No? Stay closed. In this stuff I need I don't need any of that though what do they use these little stone hut things for I wonder ooh look I can see the whole town from here <laughs> alright Inigo what do you think should we go in here and clear out this nasty, nasty place? Shriek wind Bastion! I Did I say basin before? I probably did, because 
I read it wrong. Anyway, yes, we should go in here and clean out the nasty Draugr filth.